What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I have the whole day to myself. TJ is on an outing with the boys. It's actually overnight, so I get the whole day and evening to myself. I thought it might be fun today to kind of just take you guys along, show you some of my behind the scenes processes for how I get everything done, how I sort and organize clothing, some of the things that have sold recently. We're just gonna kind of talk shop and have a little vlog today. I do have to ship something. My store is on vacation mode just because we took a little trip and I haven't turned it off yet because I need a little break. I will be fully real. I just need a second to breathe but somebody unfortunately paid for something while I was gone that they should have paid for weeks ago this is just kind of a if you saw on eBay you know the situation so I'm gonna go ahead and ship this little pair of pants here and maybe as I do it share some other things that have sold these Chico's multicolored pants floral paisley pants sold for $15 plus shipping so I you know Chico's is something that I just don't really pick up that often not that I avoided or anything, unless it's like unique. The reason I grabbed this is because it was super cheap and it had a really unique pattern on it. So I put a thank you sticker on, as well as like an eBay sticker. I don't know, maybe that's extra. I just think it's kind of fun. But as you guys know, TJ is the one who actually does most of my shipping now. So he does a fantastic job. He folds things so precisely. And this is just kind of the instruction that I gave him. Put some stickers on, make it a fun experience to open. These are 16 ounces, hooray. So that means that I can ship them first class. <laughs> Anything 16 ounces or under is first class, so it's a little bit cheaper. If this were over a pound, I would ship it padded flat rate. All right, there we go. And I do like to, I use these for whatnot auctions mostly, but for today, I thought it'd be fun to show you. Hello, I'm what you've been waiting for. This is like on Amazon, so it's just like a poly mailer. I just think it's kind of fun. I picked up some inventory last night, and I'll show you guys some footage of that. Inside? Very so, cool. Where do you want to start? Shoes yeah. Uh, <laughs> where's a lot so, of shoes. So we can do. So that one is the five. Okay. So five. So it can. Yeah, that one is five, eight, and that one is fifteen. Okay. 15 five, eight, fifteen, and then the and shoes. The oh, and the so tens the over here. Grandmother is from near there. All right. Yeah, she's from well. She's passed away, but our parents grew up in El Centro. Yeah. Is a container back there, or what are you going to put back there? Are you going to build a shed? A shed. Okay. A shed. okay. Oh, man. Is it overwhelming? Yeah. So it's a lot. So for Friday, so I have to sort in like yeah, all night. And my agents so work from home. So I'm paying mm -hmm. for more taxes, insurance. Yeah. This is Kim Kardashian, yeah. <laughs> Skims, yeah. <laughs> and I need to now sort and organize it. But to stay on top of YouTube stuff, I do have to like keep my footage organized based on like the video that I'm planning it for. Okay, so I'm just gonna open this up grab all this footage and slide it over to my folder on my desktop labeled my day behind the scenes because this is going to go in this video. Speaking of which, if you guys like my videos, you should really give them a thumbs up because it helps me so much and it makes me feel so happy. I do spend anywhere between six to 12 hours editing every single video. It drives me crazy, but I really want the quality to be good for you guys. I want it to be enjoyable from start to finish. So if you do like my videos, and you haven't subscribed and you haven't liked this one, please, please do that. Okay, self-promotion over, sorry. Thank you so much. You too. While I'm here, let's go ahead and talk about some things that sold. A few of the more interesting things that have sold recently, we've got a vintage Brooks and Dunn, like, snap, pearl snap, cowboy shirt with lightning cowboys sold for $33 plus shipping I have been putting a big sale on all my items recently because I'm it's summer slowdown I just want things to move so if things sell for less than I'm expecting that's fine I just want things out of my store next up is that Wilson's leather jacket that I got at the most recent yard sale video that I showed you guys I got it for three dollars it sold for 42 plus shipping and I originally had said I was gonna price it between 50 and 70 I had it on sale and I took a best offer again we just want things to move this Lily Pulitzer tankini top was one of the only good things in that terrible palette that I got if you guys remember that video 
Uh, you thought all these were high-end swimsuits? So there's another pants. That's it. So we only have two full swimsuits. This is even worse than I thought. It did sell for $70. I ended up taking all the swimsuits and separating them out, piecing them out, because I thought I could get a little bit more. And so I sold the top for 70, the bottoms for 40. I don't know. So these were the only good thing that was in that pouch. So the rest is very depressing and has not really sold. <laughs> this Cristiano Ronaldo jersey was actually in a donate pile on accident. So I was going through a bunch of inventory that I hadn't listed and a bunch of it was like stained and torn. And so I accidentally threw this one in there and it was not. It was actually a decent thing from a palette and I this is, mistakes happen. This is why I'm sorting through inventory today and you're gonna come along with me because otherwise these things will happen. So it sold for $42 just about and it sold really fast. The Fry Melissa tote that I showed you at that yard sale that I got for $10 ended up selling for $108. I put it on sale at, from $150. It had like a ton of watchers at $150 but the moment I put it on sale it sold so again we just want things to move. Like I especially with summer I just want things to be out of my house. Standard James Purse, this sold for $40. Standard James Purse is a brand that looks very basic and plain, but it sells so fast and for really good money. $40, $30, $50 all day long. This sold in just a few days for my full asking price of $40. And this is the crazy one. This is a very decor dress. I got this at the best yard sale I've ever been to where I picked up all those clothes and then made a really good friend Tommy out of it. This is just a very basic looking dress. It's a gingham dress. So for $235. I don't know why, I don't know how, I don't understand this brand, but I am thrilled that it sold and the buyer is very happy. And I think I picked that up for less than a dollar. Those are the kinds of sales that you just like dream about. This Shakti dress that I got at that yard sale for $3 sold for 40 in just a few days. This is a brand to be on the lookout for. It sold very fast for me and is always a quick flip, especially in larger sizes. And last but not least, we've got some Sandro that has been selling. Again, I put it on sale and immediately a bunch sold for $156, thrilled with that. I, again, let's just get stuff moving. This is very high end. This retails for, I wanna say $400. I just need things out of my house, so. Super happy with that. Okay, let's get home, let's process returns, let's organize some inventory, and maybe get ourselves a treat, right? So while I share my processes and my schedule and how I try to stay on top of things with my business and with my home life, I don't think it'd be authentic of me to just pretend that like, oh, I get this all done so easily every day and it's no big deal. I, I really struggle with anxiety and especially postpartum, I have a really hard time managing a lot of anxious thoughts and feelings. And to be real with you guys, that's where Aura has 100% helped me with my mental health and with balancing my anxiety in my business this year. So what is Aura? It is a mindfulness and sleep app that's used by over 7 million people and it won the Best of Apple Award. It's an all-in-one app that has thousands of meditations, stories, cognitive behavioral therapy, life coaching, breath work, I mean, you name it, and they have ways to help you manage anxieties, stresses, relationships, and sleep. Aura lets me ease my anxieties as I kind of feel it coming on. I can quickly hop on and do three minutes of meditation or an anti-anxiety program and I can just feel myself getting into a better headspace to tackle the projects that I know I need to do. When I find myself comparing myself to others and I'm starting to spiral with some anxiety or seeing a negative comment or getting negative feedback or feeling anxious, I can quickly turn on Aura and decompress. And because there are hundreds of different coaches and classes and programs, you can kind of tailor it to your personal needs and make it really specific to you, which I love. You can get started for free on Aura's website and using the link in my description, the first 500 people who sign up will get a free trial and an exclusive 25% off when you sign up. Thank you so much to Aura for sponsoring this portion of my video and now let's get back into my day. Okay. That is done. I don't know about you guys, but every time I have an outing at all, I'm like, I deserve a treat. So I'm gonna have some green apple soda. Ooh, not an ad. <laughs> and it's got a message. Love can last a lifetime if you want it to. There we go. Okay, let's open up some returns and then I'll kind of show you quickly how I process them. I hate returns. I think we all do. These Alice and Olivia pants, new with tags, sold for $100 and then were returned because of fit. I always make sure that they are, like especially a higher end item, I wanna make sure that like, there's no stains or scuffs on it, that it's still in the same condition I shipped because 
Otherwise, you can only give a partial refund back, up to 50%. Uh, yeah, these look good. They still have the tag, so these look good. So I'll go ahead and I'll, I will issue the refund, including shipping. I do free returns, so the only reason I wouldn't is if, again, there's something wrong with it or it's damaged, and there we go. Now, this is why I do multi-quantity listings in my eBay store. It's a setting that you can just set that all of your listings are multi-quantity because I can go to my listings, I can click on active, I can look up Alice and Olivia, there they are, right here, and I can just change the quantity from zero to one. And now I can also look at the SKU. These are in bin A08, and so I'll just put them right back in there. This is a vintage Patagonia. Yeah, this looks to be in the condition I sent it in. Changes the SKU from zero to one, and it's in D05, which is actually in our basement, so I'll wait to put that one away. You know, returns happen. It's, it's like annoying. I don't think anyone's ever like, oh, I love returns. <laughs> but it just is a part of this business. eBay wants you to do it. I know that eBay rewards sellers with traffic that do it, so it's just kind of, to me, part of playing the game and being on eBay. Uh, that being said, it's totally up to you. There are certain items that I do not accept returns on, so I think it just depends on your business model and what you're selling, but for me with clothing, I, I understand that for some people it just won't fit and they'll need to send it back. It's just that unfortunate that for me, a ton of these returns lately have been really expensive, between $50 and $100. <laughs> I don't like those, but it is what it is. All right, here I am, now back at home, sorting through a bunch of stuff. First of all, I actually got a ton more inventory from my friend Tommy. He and I are gonna be doing a huge whatnot auction of a lot of his amazing stuff. He has a ton of great items. If you guys wanna make sure you catch that, just make sure you're following me on whatnot. It's just hustle at home, mom. That aside though, I do have so much inventory. I mean, clearly this is a problem and it, I'm not even showing you all of it, that I need to sort through everything that I'm going to either be selling on whatnot, selling maybe in a mystery box and then listing on eBay. What I have found is that Whatnot is really good for items that would probably sell between $20 and $30 on eBay, especially brands that are more recent, everyday brands, or anything that stands out. It does tend to have to be in a little bit of a higher demand, uh, eclectic, unique things, uh, less trendy items don't do as well and whatnot as far as like what I've seen and tested out. So that's kind of how I'm going to be sorting them. So this is just an estimation, like I haven't done any hard data, hard statistics on this, but I think things on whatnot tend to sell for 25 to 50% less than they would sell on eBay, which as long as you're making a profit, I mean, this is just for me. <laughs> It may not, that might not be the case for other people, but for me, that's about what I've seen. I think as long as you're making a profit, it's a really good way to liquidate stuff, but if you have something that's higher end and you know it'll do well on eBay, it might do better there. It's just some random thoughts, but let's go ahead and get organizing. I did recently get a virtual assistant. She gets 10 drafts ready for me every day. I take pictures. So what I've been doing with my virtual assistant to make it really easy is I create albums in Google Photos that I share with her and each album is titled the bin number of the photographs that I'm putting in that album. So every photograph in the album A12, for example, is filled with items that are in that bin. And she knows to, when she's listing those items, to put the SKU as the title of the album. It just makes life a lot easier and all the drafts are ready to go. So then she gets these drafts ready for me, I highlight them, I check them, I price them, and then I send them live. I try to do 10 a day. I feel like that's a really good benchmark number, but you just find what works for you. I think as long as you have a way to do do it every day that works if it's one a day if it's two a day five a day and I don't think it's necessarily for the eBay algorithm because eBay even states itself that it doesn't matter if you list every day or once a week but I think for your processes as a business owner it's good to get into a habit of doing something every day that works you towards your goals whatever your goals might be usually I'm able to batch photograph a ton of photographs like I'm gonna be doing today, that I can get all ready and prepared for my virtual assistant. And then the rest of my time in the mornings usually can be spent either helping TJ ship or getting YouTube videos edited and prepared. All right, I've done a bunch of sorting. Everything I need to photograph is behind me, that's fine. I've ordered a DoorDash for myself since I am flying solo tonight. I wanted to treat myself. You know, as moms, we rarely get time 
to ourselves in the evening when we're not putting kids to bed and what have you. So I'm gonna go ahead and treat myself. It says it'll take an hour for the sushi to get here. So I'm gonna give myself an hour and see how far I can get into this pile. Maybe I can make a significant dent, we will see. I will definitely report back. Okay, I got most of the stuff photographed actually. Uh, not everything, but I got a lot done. I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna watch Stranger Things. I'm so excited. Thank you so much for tuning in today, you guys. I really appreciate you and I hope that you enjoyed this video of kind of more in-depth day-to-day business activities that I do that I don't always talk about. I hope it was maybe different and interesting to see some of the behind the scenes stuff that I do to take care of my business and just run day-to-day -day operations. And I don't know, maybe it was insightful and helped you feel less alone if this is kind of what you're going through as well. Thanks again, you guys. Take care and I will catch you next time.